Well, thank you for visiting LitzenMotors.com and the opportunity to show you the all-new 2009 Winnebago View and Itasca Navion 24A, which are common floor plans across both makes. As you can see, these are uh, video footage clips from the 2008 RVIA show in Louisville, Kentucky, uh, which we shot this video. Uh, you can see uh, this is the outside uh, driver's side of the view, <clears throat> showing some of the lower uh, cargo area. Uh, patio side uh, being with the LP right underneath the um, main compartment door there, generator to the rear, and some of your winterization valves and other valves to the rear of that. Real large awning uh, in the unit uh, that covers all the way front to rear. <coughs> Here are some rear view shots of the uh, 24A. This is the driver's side with the full wall slide, uh, two refrigerator vents, um, exterior wash station, uh, water heater, uh, dump center, uh, electrical compartment, and uh, we'll zoom in here and show you a little bit more detail on the electrical side. <clears throat> a little over nine cubic feet of exterior storage, which is primarily encompassed in the driver side storage bin that I'm zooming in on right here. It's a good sized storage bin here on the driver side with door props. It is coated as with the rest of the chassis. Good size storage bin on the driver's side. This again is the uh, left front uh, nose shot of the Winnebago view. <clears throat> now we'll walk inside and check out the inside of the new 24A. As you can see, uh, it is only available in a front bunk, uh, which does maintain the same size dimensions as the previous views, which is 49 by 75. A Euro lounge chair in ultra leather is standard with the ottoman. Uh, dual front swivel seats <coughs> are available uh, and we will probably order these on most of our units because they are factory installed. Uh, this is an ultra leather, leather sofa sleeper uh, which is an airbed style unit. Uh, this unit is in ultra leather. It is also available in cloth. Standard is the cloth version. Good size storage overhead. Double door refrigerator with pantry on the left hand side that you can see there. Just a real large livable area right in front of the large TV, which is a 32 inch LCD high definition TV. You can see the vinyl runs all the way from the entry all the way to the rear kitchen as well as the rear bath. Big storage closet right across from the pantry right next to the 32 inch high def LCD. A lot of storage underneath the range and the countertop and then above that is actually a new feature called a half time oven which is intended to cook in half the time allowing to convection as well as microwave. Storage above the 32 inch LCD TV with a large uh, uh, wardrobe closet to the right of it. That's the inverter underneath the TV as well as the entertainment center with the DVD player. <coughs> Walking our way to the rear here, you can see it does maintain the wooden sink cover for additional countertop space. Rear window uh, with Venetian blinds, which is intended to prevent any cooking issues. Large three burner range. GFI outlets along the galley areas. Walking our way towards the bath, you can see the toilet, sink, mirror, some storage areas right above there, good size bath, traditional style shower as we work our way from right to left. It is what I would actually call kind of a rectangular shower though it does maintain a little bit of an octagonal edge on the on the corner. Working our way up you can see it does have the traditional shower head that we've utilized in the other views in Navions. Skylight overhead for additional height for taller people, that's a drip rod overhead, which is removable during your shower. Walking our way back out through the kitchen area, through the galley area, you can see all five storage drawers there with the backsplash behind the three burner range, the half time oven that I mentioned earlier. There's the pantry next to the double door refrigerator. Those are shelves and not a pull out basket, although that could be retrofitted. Now let's take a look at the Navion. This is the Itasca version. You can see same styling. This is a deluxe feature uh, graphic package 
uh, as opposed to full body paint or as opposed to just the, the, the normal graphic package. Large awning that you can see there. Same body style as the view that we previously looked at. One thing that really shows up in this footage is the high quality fiberglass and high luster that Winnebago utilizes. You can see the amount of luster in it and the amount of reflection pulling off of the lights. So again, this is the Navion side. Now let's take a look inside. Same floor plan. It's the one common floor plan between the, the view and the Navion. Again, ultra leather Euro chair, which is standard with a pull-up table. So you can use that as a two-person dinette <clears throat> if you decide to leave the bed made up. Day-night shades throughout, except in the galley and bath areas. Dual seat swivels up front. Again, it's a 49 by 75 overhead bed, which is standard. <clears throat> this is the cloth version in the Somerville fabric of the Itasca Navion. Again, day-night shades, directional lighting, storage overhead. <clears throat> and again, this is a sofa sleeper with an air bed underneath it. Same 32 inch LCD high def TV with the entertainment center underneath, storage overhead, inverter right below the 32 inch TV because that TV is so large it's not a 12 volt TV. Wardrobe closet with a drawer underneath and then your converter charger down below. Again working our way to the back, same floor plan as the Winnebago side, three burner range, five drawers. Uh, that is a uh, facade panel in the rear there that's uh, to be a allowed to access plumbing areas underneath. There is no storage there. Again, the half-time oven. Bakes, browns, and roasts just like a normal oven, and it'll cook in half the time. There's a real good shot of it. And then a shot to the rear. Real usable floor plan. We'll sleep two on the sofa sleeper and two overhead. If you want to leave the bed made up, uh, you can use the uh, pull-up table there. Here's your control panel, the one-place panel that Winnebago takes pride in. Generator controls, uh, water heater upgrade, as well as the holding tank uh, heaters uh, with a heated drainage option. All of the sensors that Winnebago utilizes are external and ultrasonic rather than using probes inside the tanks. This unit has the heat pump, which you can see on the thermostat. And again, walking our way to the rear, you can see the uh, kitchen area with the sink cover, storage cabinets above. We'll take a look again in this bathroom, although it is identical to the Winnebago view. You can see storage cabinets overhead. Panning down, we'll take a look at the countertop again. Uh, the toilet, which does include a pull-out sink sprayer to uh, utilize for cleaning. Storage underneath the sink, same style sink that's in the rear of the 24H bath area with the proprietary uh, squeegee door that uh, will squeegee off the water as you remove uh, the door and close it. Going up top you can see the shower head, drip rod up top and then the skylight overhead as well. As we complete in the bathroom and walk our way back to the main living area I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for viewing this video and visiting Litson.com the nation's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries located just one mile north of Winnebago and Itasca in Forest City, Iowa.